two with everything, but no onions on mine. I have a woman. I'll have sauerkraut and onions. I have TiVo. <laughs> Did you see that? Unfortunately. Now that I'm off the market, all the females want a piece of this. Spence, it's a forbidden food theory. When you're in a committed relationship, people are more attracted to you. Really? Because I was also thinking maybe it has something to do with my tree trunk like biceps. <laughs> I'm usually not this bald, but I had to approach you. Excuse me, but how do you know I'm not his woman? She's not my woman. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ma, we've been missing each other lately. What's new? Mm, let's see. All four cats had worms. That was messy. <laughs> they sell Starbucks at my grocery store now. Oh, and I bought an inflatable man, so now I can drive in the carpool lane. <laughs> okay, before you two are spooning in bed, you really need a social life. <laughs> Look who's talking. Please, the last time you dated, people still had turntables. <laughs> What are you saving it for? Morgan Freeman. Hey guys, I brought you some desserts. Phyllis Thorne, you've got a man. <laughs> I have a sixth sense about these things, and I am never, never wrong, never, ever. Admit it. Okay, yes, I'm what? seeing someone. Really? Because sometimes I am wrong. <laughs> saving yourself for Morgan Freeman. You said it was time to move on. I just said it. See how well I take advice. Well, this is great. You have a man, a real man, a breathing man. Why didn't you tell me? Because I'm a very private person. Not with my business, you're not. I'm sorry. It's just that Earl and I have only been dating for a month, and we decided to keep it on the QT till we knew where it was headed. A whole month? This is huge. What does he look like? What does he do? Has he made it to first base yet? Earl is fine. <laughs> Owns his own business. And I forget where first base is, but he's definitely on deck. <laughs> and every time I see him, my heart skips a beat. Oh, that is so precious. <laughs> I hope I can still have those kinds of feelings when I'm in my golden years. <laughs> Come out right. So, when do I get to meet him? Oh, forget it. Took me 10 years to reel one in. I don't want you tipping over the boat before I got him in the net. <laughs> Ma, I want to be part of the things that make you happy. And I haven't seen you this happy since you thought your cat scratched a heart shape in the kitty litter. Believe what you want. I know what I saw. Ma. Oh, all right. I'll bring him by tomorrow. Great, I'll whip up some snacks. Honey, he ain't staying that long. You get a glimpse and he's gone. <laughs> Why are you two acting like you've never seen me go out with a man before? We, we haven't. haven't. <laughs> hey, everybody. Damn, Mama Sita, you clean up good. <laughs> Real good. <laughs> Thank you, baby. I still got it, but I'm ready to give it away. <laughs> okay. Spence, did you bring the extra film? I couldn't even get in the drugstore. Women were rushing me so hard. I mean, what's a super sexy brother to do? First of all, super sexy brothers don't call themselves super sexy. And second of all, you tell those heifers in heat you're in a committed relationship. Oh, oh that's her. Own. Hello, Muffin Top. Just looking for a little D. Phyllis, your clothes match. <laughs> Aren't you brave dressing in front of a mirror these days? Yes, this is what it looks like to dress sober. <laughs> Come on, Mother, we gotta go. Yeah, thanks for dropping by. Why are you all suddenly so anxious for me to leave? Don't be ridiculous. We're always anxious for you to leave. Hi, I'm Earl. And obviously lost. This is a man-free zone. 
Hello, handsome. Hello, beautiful. Everyone, this is Earl, my man. He's tall. <laughs> Earl, I'd like you to meet my daughter, Mona. Hi. This is Spencer, Dee Dee, and Big Dee Dee. It's nice to meet you all. I'm so thrilled that someone has finally taken out our little Phyllis. <laughs> Mother, what are you doing? If he's dating Phyllis, he must be blind. We've got to go now. Forgive them for rushing off. The big one's got to do a drag show. <laughs> Tonight, he, she's doing LaToya Jackson. Really? Well, he's very convincing. <laughs> Although I could tell a little around the feet. So, Earl, have a seat. Tell us about yourself. Yeah, like how do you two meet? Well, at a food festival at Pier 39. Our eyes met as we both reached for a giant turkey leg. We decided to share it. I let her have the skin. Isn't he romantic? <laughs> <laughs> but poultry aside, the most captivating thing about Phyllis is her spirit. And then those eyes. And that smile. <laughs> Old dude's rap is tight. <laughs> so tell me, Earl, what exactly are your intentions towards my mother? To get me to dinner on time. Bye. It was a pleasure meeting both of you. Uh, same here. You kids have fun. Do you have cab fare in case something comes up? If something comes up, I won't need a cab. <laughs> Sorry, this seat is taken. My friend Meredith Kessler is sitting there, and you don't want to mess with a New Yorker. Yeah, I don't see anyone. Then meet my friend Jimmy Chu. to be true. What am I going to do? Mona, you have to tell your mom about him. But she's so happy. It's been a week since she nagged me about popping out some grandbabies. <laughs> you got to be strong. You got to do this. And, you know, I'm here for you, sis. Mm. Hey, girls. I'm out of here. <laughs> hey, 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 let go of that door and I'll be, you'll be picking up your French tips. Ooh, fighting words. What's going on? I think Mona can answer that, Mona. Is it something juicy? I Mona can answer that, Mona. Is something wrong? I think Mona can answer okay. that. Okay! It's obvious Mona's on her own here, sis. Ma, it seems that Earl's married and I met his wife. Oh. Oh, this can't be happening. I'm sorry, Ma, but we had to tell I'm you. so stupid and embarrassed uh, to put you girls in this position. It's not your fault, Phyllis. Yeah, you didn't know Earl was married. Actually, I did. I just didn't want you to. Ma, how could you keep seeing him if you knew he was married? He's not married, married. He's separated and they're getting a divorce. They haven't had a real marriage in years. What, they have a fake marriage? They dress up in little costumes? <laughs> married is married. Mona, if Earl says his marriage is over, I believe him. Phyllis, they looked awfully chummy when I saw them together. What about his wife? 
Nobody thought about me when I was separated. Okay, I'm out of this conversation. And Ma, you really don't know this guy. Look, I'm tired of being without a man. And at my age, the only models available are pre-owned. So what if Earl doesn't have that new car smell? I'm gonna hang a pine tree on his ass and keep driving. I am not giving him up. So what do you make of this whole Phyllis Earl thing? What do you care? It's just that something is a bit strange, a little askew, a smidge wonky. I don't know what you're talking about. Everything's normal. There's nothing to spill. If there was something to spill, I'd spill it. <sighs> you're being loyal to your sister. I admire that. And I would never want you to say something to betray her trust. Here, write it down. I'm not telling you. <laughs> Tee hee. Do you like my ring? 10 carats of brilliant cut, flawless diamonds. One day it'll be yours. It's so sparkly. <laughs> Tell me what you're keeping from me, and you can have it now. There. Now you're the prettiest girl in the whole room. <laughs> OK. But you can't tell anyone what I'm about to tell you. Mona told me that Phyllis told Earl that you're a drag queen. <laughs> How dare that lonely cat hurt her? I'll take my ring back now. But you said I could have it. Hey, it's a tough world. And Mother wouldn't be doing her job if she didn't prepare you. I just can't understand how my mom, of all people, could be dating a married man. What's the big deal? When you separate, you have license to date other people. Says who? A bunch of horny guys? Are there any other kind? Hi, I'm Randy. And I'm Rita. And y'all are both bold. We're having a party for a night. Want to join us? With every ounce of my being. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, no thank you. I'm in a, uh, Committed relationship. An honest guy. What a turn on. Too bad we can't fight over him. Uh, uh, but you can! I'll hold your blouses! Hi! I brought sushi, chocolate, and a copy of Oprah's magazine. Oh, look, she's on the cover again. Let me guess. You're trying to butter me up because you're on your way to see Earl and you want my approval. How'd you know that? You always bring me my favorite foods when you don't want me to be mad. And you're wearing your butt shaper pants. Well, I am meeting Earl at the St. Francis Hotel. I think he's going to tell me he's finally getting that divorce. You are not going down there to be with someone else's husband. Hello, I'm the mother here. You need to remember how you felt when you were separated and you lost your husband to another woman. But in this case, you're Big Dee Dee. Oh, you have crossed the line, young lady. I am not Big Dee Dee, and this is not the same situation. You keep telling yourself that, and I'll keep telling myself this chocolate won't go to my hip, and tomorrow we'll both be wrong. <laughs> Thanks for bringing over the salsa. Wait, this expired two weeks ago. <sighs> Please, an expiration date is just a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> Can I help you? Oh, my God, you're so young. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Before I say anything else, I just want you to know how difficult it is for me to be standing here right now. I, I've rehearsed this moment over and over in my head. I, I just need you to listen. I'm all ears. Who are you? <laughs> Look, I know the truth about you and my husband, Earl. I found your address when I was searching through his pockets. Yes, I searched his pockets. Who are you to judge? <laughs> Okay, he was here, but he wasn't here to see me. He was here to see somebody else. I mean, Mona, which one of these do you think is more naughty? <laughs> Denise. Olive Maraschino. <laughs> Olive Maraschino? Yes, Olive Maraschino. Oh, my God. You're the one Earl's been seeing. 
Well, I suppose he told you he was separated and contemplating divorce. Well, let me tell you something. For 20 years, 20 years, I've cooked his food, laughed at his corny jokes, and put up with his country-ass family. <laughs> I'm not giving all that up without a fight. Then I guess we're all on the same page, because when I realized that Earl was married, I broke it off. And I've recently met the man of my dreams. Is this guacamole mask edible? <laughs> my suntan Superman now. Baby, I missed you so much today. That's it. You women are animals. I'm not leaving my apartment again without Camille. Damn my finest. I don't know what's going on here, but I am not buying it. Me either. I'm gonna track down Earl and get to the bottom of this. Oh, you just had to drag your new man into it. Hey, the lady bought all of Maraschino. I went for broke. Wait, wait, wait. My mom's with Earl. We gotta track her down before Denise takes her down. I hate to say it, but life was a lot easier when your mother wasn't dating. Mm. Thank you. Would you like to dance, or should I just kiss you now? Earl, I thought we came here to discuss your marital situation. Okay, you can kiss me now. <laughs> now, stop trying to change the subject. Oh, I already forgot what it was. <laughs> Listen, now that we're here, why not enjoy each other? Without all my baggage, I, um, uh, got us a room with champagne and your favorite Goobers. Uh. You dropped your family. Things were very complicated, Phyllis. I'm doing the best that I can. Sure you are. But how long is that going to take? If it was my choice, it would be over tomorrow. But tonight, I want to be with you. I know. But to be safe, I'd better go up first. See you upstairs. Waiter. Could you see this gets returned to the front desk, please? Hold up. Tired of always doing the right thing. If loving him is wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> no. No. Have to live with myself. God knows it's hard enough already. <laughs> now take this key, man, and run. Run! Oh, Ma, I am so glad we found you. Where's Earl? What are you two doing here? I think Mona can answer that, Mona. <laughs> Earl is still very much with his wife. She came to my apartment. She was looking for his mistress, which would be you. And I know you don't want to hear this, especially from me, but this relationship is a dead end. And you just got to trust that there's something better out there for you. OK. <laughs> OK. You said let him go. Done. I just said it. Well, when a mother has a daughter as smart as you, she listens. On what planet? <laughs> are you playing mind games with me? Because if you are, you're good. I've always been good. You're just finally catching on. You know, Ma, there is a bright side to all this. At least now you know you can still open your heart to a man. True. Next time, I just have to run his license, get his fingerprints, and do a background check. <laughs> you're a wonderful daughter, Mona Thorne. Now move. <laughs> and you are okay too, despite your parents. <laughs> well, all right, I gotta go before my validation runs out. I refuse to lose a man and overpay for parking. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I feel so powerful. Maybe now I can get my mom to stop wearing her slippers to the movies. <laughs> Baby steps, Mona. Baby steps. <laughs> Phyllis, 
Big Didi. I know all about your sordid little secret. How dare you call me a drag queen? <laughs> you only wish you could pass for a woman. Enough woman for a full-size man. But I am sorry I called you a drag queen. Thank you. Don't thank me. I just don't want to insult drag queens. 